driving past the old high school apartments in Vandalia, Illinois. Many never saw the yellow tape and broken glass, clues to a tragic event that happened early in the morning. I got woke up about quarter to one in the morning. I opened up the door and seen there was a, a fire down there by the laundry room. There was just a lot of smoke rolling. I went down and, and got a fire extinguisher, but it didn't, it didn't work. I tried that water hose and it just it got too hot. I pounded on a few doors and then I got the heck out. Pre-dawn blaze forced the families of 42 apartments outside. One of the residents came out, out of his door right next to the fire and, and, and dropped in the hallway. I turned around and ran back out the hallway and was trying to holler at him to get him to roll or run or get up or something. And he he couldn't. The last thing he said was, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. And I, Rescue personnel would find a victim in the hall area of the first floor. It was sickening. Hear him holler like that. Emergency officials were waiting to release the victim's name until all his family members could be notified. But the sad news of the identity of the dead resident was known by most living here. Oh, he was probably the most popular person in the whole building. He's really likable. Late in the afternoon, the building was reopened, except for four destroyed apartments in Vandalia, Illinois. I just couldn't believe that, uh, you know, he's gone. Wade Smith, Fox 2 News.